Howdy, Reagan here for Core Globe. Today, I want to talk about buying fur online. But before I list my favorite places to buy faux fur, let's get a few things out of the way. 1. Unless you live near a fashion district, it is always better to buy faux fur online. Quality, price, and a consistent color range are all areas you will benefit when buying online. Number 2. Fur is expensive. Very expensive. When I started making fursuits more than a decade ago, a good yard of fur would run you about $20 uh, USD a yard. Now you'll easily spend twice that. Cut corners in other places, but not here. Expect to spend a few hundred dollars on fur alone if you're making a full suit. Number three, you will not find the colors you want. Or you might. I don't know what you're making. If your character is a white cat, you will have no problem finding short fur, medium fur, long, extra long, off-white, pure white, etc, etc, etc. That will work for your project. Colors like white, black, and browns are always easy to find. If your character is a wolf with three different colors of gray, sorry, <laughs> you're going to have a really rough time finding the shade you want and the length and texture you want. If you're making a design before you make or commission a fursuit, look at available furs first. Number four, if you do find the furs you want, this might be the only time you find them. Some furs have a very limited run. If you find a pastel, creamy yellow, and you want to use it on this fursuit and a remake six years from now, just buy it, just buy it all. If you don't buy it now, be ready to choose something different the next time. At minimum, I suggest buying an extra yard of fur for repairs. With all that out of the way, here are my favorite places to buy fur online. To make sure I give you a good idea of what to expect from each company, I'll cover four topics for each. Shipping, my favorite and least favorite fur, and the biggest perk and drawback. First company, imstuffedfur.com. They do international shipping, but to Canada only. My favorite fur from the company is definitely the high fashion deluxe furs. They're so dense and plush and honestly, not that practical for fursuits, but I love them and I've often designed fursuits just so I could use them. One fur to avoid, the NA Solid Rust, and most of the furs listed as specials. Most of the furs not under the special categories are lovely, uh, but the order I did of the Solid Rust couldn't hold up to even the softest of brushings. Like always, make sure you order a swatch before placing a large order of fur. The biggest perk of this company, the furs under the high fashion and the rabbit furs. They're so nice and some of my favorite furs to use. The biggest drawback. The owner of this company can be a little short when it comes to speaking to customers, so don't get fluffy with your emails. Just list what you want to buy and give them your PayPal email so they can send you an invoice. Fursuitsupplies.com International shipping. Yes, see the site for available countries. Favorite fur on the site. All of the custom runs. Fursuit Supplies allows customers to order or recommend custom runs of fur. This purple rabbit came from one of those custom runs, and I absolutely love it. One fur to avoid. This company is furry owned, so you don't really need to be too concerned with the quality of fur. Always order swatches though before placing a large order. Biggest perk. The custom runs of fur are super lovely as I said, and you know, it's always nice keeping money within the fandom. Biggest drawback, they can be a little slow when it comes to restocking fur, so if you have a hard deadline, it's probably best to just go to another company if the fur you want is not in stock. Fabric.com International shipping? Yes. See the site for available countries. Favorite fur on the site? Search for a luxury shag on the site and buy one of those. That's the thick, colorful fur you see on a lot of fur suits. One fur to avoid. Avoid every fur on the site, really, that's not luxury shag. There are a few good ones that are not luxury shag, but really, just avoid them. Biggest perk, definitely the free domestic shipping on orders of $50 or more. That's basically just two yards of fur. Biggest drawback, they are a fabric company, not a fur company. When you receive a box of fur from them, open it outside and shake it out. There will be so many loose fibers that opening it inside is always a mistake. Mendels.com International Shipping Yes, see the site for available countries. Favorite fur on the site? Definitely the Luxury Bear. It's short, dense, soft. It's probably my favorite fur of all time. One fur to avoid, the Cuddle Bear. It's called Bear, 
but it's not the same as Luxury Bear. The furs on this site are all over the place when it comes to quality, so definitely order swatches before ordering. Biggest perk? They have almost every color of Luxury Shag. On this site, it's called Punky Muppet, along with realistic textured furs in multiple co colors. A great catch-all when it comes to fur ordering. The biggest drawback? It's a little pricey. Luxury Bear is almost $40 a yard, and shipping, at least for me, it always adds an additional $50 or more to my order. Howfabrics.com International shipping? Yep, and just like the others, see the site for available countries. Favorite fur on the site? All the teddy and bunny furs. Uh, they're very similar to what you can find on I'm Stuffed, and sometimes they are the same furs. I just love rabbit furs. They're great. One fur to avoid. Just like fursuit supplies, this company is furry owned, so you don't really need to be too concerned with the quality. But just like the other companies, always get swatches before large orders. Biggest perk. This company is run by the folks who run fursuiting.com, so you can be pretty sure that all these furs will work great on fursuits. Biggest drawback. The biggest drawback is also probably the biggest perk. They have unique furs. If you see a fur you like on the site, buy it quickly and buy as much as you'll need for now and down the line. You might not see it again. And those are my favorite fur companies to order from. I hope that helped. If you find a fur company you want to use that's not on this list, don't be afraid to order a few swatches. You can find some of the best fur hidden in the corners of larger fabric companies.